had six of his former players play in the NBA. He has signed a seven-year contract for $20.9 million with the Hokies. I got a chance to hear from the new athletic director, Whit Babcock, Williams, and some past Hokie players on the new hire. I made the very difficult decision last week to make a change in the leadership of our basketball program. There were those who were quick to say that Virginia Tech cannot become an elite basketball school. But I believe differently, and I know many of you, if not all of you, did as well. As I told Coach Williams during our meetings late last week, it's not where we have been as a program or where we are now, but rather where we are headed, where we want to go, and where we aspire to be. Buzz Williams will work hard to build our program to national prominence. It will take time and we will give him that time and he will build it right one step at a time and he will need all of us to play a role too. He will need our help, our investment and our support. And ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming your new head basketball coach, Coach Buzz Williams. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. I appreciate your passion. I appreciate your excitement. I'm very, very honored, very thankful to be here, humbled by the chance, excited for the opportunity. I think it's a sleeping giant. There's a lot of work to be done. Um, I'm thankful that Witt and President Sands uh, believe that I was worthy of this chance. And what I can tell you without promising you anything other than you'll have my heart, you'll have my soul, I'll work at it every single day, and I'll do right by this institution. I'll do right by this department, I'll do right by our program, and I'll also do right by alumni and those that are in the community that support Virginia Tech. I'm excited for the growth of this program. I think it's a sleeping giant. I think that it's been done here before. I think it's time to do it again. I don't think that you can So with this, I don't think that you can do it in a day. I don't think that you can do it in a season. I don't think that you can do it in one recruiting class. I don't think you can do it with one head coach. I don't think you can do it with 5,000 fans. It has to be everybody pulling in the same direction for the right reasons, for the right purposes, for the right things. And I don't mean that exclusively about winning games. I mean that for growing young men to become the husbands and the fathers, to be the best that they can be in their life after basketball and during their life in basketball, to become the best player they can be. But the only way that they can become the best player they can be is to be the best student that they can be and to be the best young man that they can be. And I can't be that guy every single day to everybody. And so the coaches that I hire, the staff that I hire, the players that we recruit, we all have to pull in the right direction and we all have to understand that it's not exclusively about basketball, but basketball is the vehicle that we will use to become the best that we can be. The reason that I came here is for the challenge of building this program to do those things so that it is deeper than winning and so that it is deeper than just the kids that are on our team. It's the residual impact, so when the next Bimbo Coles and the next Ace Custis have their jerseys retired, the next generation says, I remember that. I remember when I was at Virginia Tech. I remember when I went to those games. That's what this is about. High energy guy, you know, and he's really genuine. Uh, he's going to demand a lot, absolutely. Uh, we're excited about to, uh, you know, Bo Williams is, is a uh, brand name coach. We can uh, hear his name all the time with him and Mark, uh, and the time Mark Head. He's a great coach. So we decided uh, to have him, and you know, we're looking forward to what he's going to do here for us. Uh, just, yeah, very surprised. Uh, we've got a high profile coach who's been to the back for six years. Uh, play, a guy who's known me, Mark Head. Just from being a Pittsburgh, I watched him. I watched him all the time. I watched him play the big time. I could tell that 